And here we have a brand new in the box DGK King G-Shock model number GX56 DGK1. Uh, it's a brand new collaboration done with Stevie Williams and his uh, Dirty Ghetto Kids brand here in the U.S. This one has become uh, really hard to find. It just came out not too long ago and already most of the places that uh, would normally carry it are sold out. It had a really reasonable retail price of $160, which is just, you know, really nice uh, for a limited edition like this. Uh, it is the non-atomic King G-Shock though that we've been seeing here in the U.S. And it's kind of the old style tin with custom uh, graphic there at the top. The embossed stars around the edge. And, and the round tin. And the regular G-Shock tag. The model number there on the back. And here's the actual G-Shock. As you can see, it's the giant King G-Shock with matching purple accents. Take it out here. Closer look at it. And you can see the negative display does have a purple tint to it that matches with the mirrored digits that are uh, nice high contrast, easy to read for a negative display. The matching purple buttons on the side and you see some of the details here in the band. Again, we got Stevie Williams' signature. And down the length of it, the DGK logo with little stars on the sides. A little extra little details like that, which is nice to see in a limited edition. You know, put a little extra effort. And the DG, DGK logo. There in the bottom band, and just the mud resist there. And let's see, if we can do this. The strap holder is black with purple printing on it, and the big DJK logo logo there underneath, which you can't fully <laughs> expose either way there because of the strap holder, but still. A lot of nice little touches there. Big clasp. This is just regular silver. This is Casio Japan. And the other side, just plain purple. But there is a custom case back. You can see there with the DJK logo and Stevie Williams signature. This model is made in Thailand. Looks like all the King G-Shocks going forward are made in Thailand now. And it has the 3221 module inside. That's the standard non-atomic solar module. 3220 is the atomic one. So they're pretty much identical, except for that atomic feature. And it just says water 20 bar resist there, instead of where it would say multi-band 6 on the atomic version. Also see the in white at the DJK logo there at the bottom of the display. So yeah, a lot, a lot of nice touches. If you're a fan of DJK, I think this is the only G-Shock they've ever done. And uh, yeah, the color may not be for everyone. I mean, it is purple. Uh, it's a deep, you know, it's not a bright purple. It's kind of a deep, rich, you know, a little bit more subtle. So, I, you know, it's, it's not quite as shocking as you would think. Uh, you know, the strap, so it's, but it's, you know, it's a nice look. Might not be for everyone, no. Uh, like I was saying, these, these are really hard to come by. Uh, for some reason, I, I don't know if it's just that they just didn't produce that many, or, or what's going on, but, uh, yeah, they sold out really quickly, and it, it's hard to say. Casio might produce more, so this could just be a temporary issue. Uh, but, you know, keep an eye out. Uh, they're hard to find at, at even the $160 retail price. Most of the ones for sale are they're selling a good bit more than that. You know, more on the $200 range if you're lucky. Uh, eBay going for even more. So look around for a good deal, uh, but be aware that yeah, $160 is the retail price, and normally you can get it less than the retail. But this one is very unusual now. Uh, you know, 
for some reason, uh, there's quite a shortage of them. So, anyways, the DGK, King G-Shock, model GX56, DGK1, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.